How are uh, customer flows actually going in markets where stores have been reopened for a while? Good morning and thank you for having me. Uh, we uh, obviously are very happy to be able to, to welcome back customers to, to stores as they, as they open. Uh, what we currently see is that, that uh, we need to operate our stores in, in, uh, in, in uh, well, still under some restrictions and, and, and still in compliance with, with how the, the authorities and the local regulations um, uh, put the demands on us. So we're happy to welcome uh, customers back, but still, of course, we, we, uh, we trade under some, some, uh, some restrictions in many markets. Um, Adam Carson, are, are there any places in the world where you have to reclose some stores again because of COVID-19? Are you doing that in the U.S.? We are uh, constantly monitoring the situation, and, and uh, I think one of the clearest examples is now in, in Asia and China, where uh, we can see local outbreaks and, and the government then takes uh, decisive and, and uh, immediate action. So, of course, we then follow what, what uh, the authorities uh, uh, tell, tell us to do. So always compliant with, with uh, how, how the, the authorities um, uh, are, are managing the situation. Um, you're also, you, you know, you've said this morning that basically you're preparing for a debut bond issue. What would you use the money raised for? Is it for expansion online? So at the same time, you're also closing stores. So w where do you see opportunities? Uh, our, 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 one of our key priorities now is to secure that we have financial resilience. And, and uh, with this uh, program, we, we believe that we will have uh, a, a wider access to, to capital generally. So uh, this is more of a, of a long-term plan to, to widen the access to capital and, and uh, uh, increasing the toolbox. So um, it's more of a general approach to, to secure the, the, the long-term financial structure. So, so you don't have any use for it straight away? It's just to, in general, is it a, would you consider it a safety blanket or just to make sure that you're financially you know, strong no matter what happens next? That, that's how we see it. We, we, we have uh, throughout the second quarter now secured the, the short-term liquidity and now we're reviewing our, our, uh, our long-term uh, access to capital and this is part of that plan to ensure that we have a variety of, of uh, sources of capital long-term. I mean, longer term, how many stores do you think you'll have versus what you're selling online? I think you're closing down uh, shops, but you're closing less shops than some of your competitors. Uh, the, the, the plan is constantly changing, and, and um, as we see that the, the channels are really supporting each other, uh, we are working super hard to ensure that, that uh, we are following how the customer behavior is, 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 is changing. So most likely uh, we, we will uh, review the, the portfolio over time, but it could go either way. In some of the mature markets where we're high density, we will do it in one way, and then we still have the opportunity in, in other, many other markets to, to meet customers in the, in the physical channels. Um, how are you approaching an in inventory reduction? Right now, uh, and as you saw in the report, that uh, we've managed with, with very, very uh, immediate and decisive actions to to adjust the the, um, the, the stock and, and purchasing level. So uh, we are currently uh, pleased with the, the immediate actions, and now we are we are looking into to third quarter where we we expect slightly higher markdown levels. And then, uh, as we normally do, uh, continuously manage uh, sales and, and the buying plans to, to ensure that we have a, a relevant uh, stock composition into the, into the autumn. Uh, but as mentioned then, uh, pleased with immediate work, and now we need to, to ensure that we have a, a good plan for the, for the summer, where we most likely will have a slightly higher mark, markdown level than, than last year. Um, you know, what do you do with, for example, the autumn winter season? How much are you ordering compared to last year? And how will COVID-19 in general change the fashion cycle? Um, from a, a internal perspective, uh, we have really made full use of all of the flexibility that our supply chain gives us now throughout the, the spring here. And this is what we plan to continue to do. So uh, we are still in, in, in planning and buying phase for the autumn. And, and uh, this is one of the advantages we have of, of having such a strong uh, supply chain network with a lot of, of suppliers in a variety of markets. So we're still in planning and, and adjusting phase for the autumn, uh, but hopefully uh, we can see the the, the trading recovery has, has, has started right now, and then, then we, we believe we will have a very strong uh, autumn setup.